Hey guys, this is Jimmy from Primer is Best, and I'm back on this 1978 Chevy C10 truck. Goes by the name of Billy James. Uh, I, if you've been watching my videos the last little bit, and I hope, I hope this truck is not boring you to death, because I've been making several videos on this truck, and uh, I don't know how long I can stay out here because they're calling for rain. But I'm trying to take advantage of it. I've been riding in this truck. I uh, went and put some air in the tires. I thought they were a little bit low. They were a few pounds low of air. And uh, just got back a few minutes ago. And uh, man, this old truck runs good. It runs real good. And uh, it was a pleasure driving it. Uh, turned on the radio. All this stuff that you see on this truck. Uh, like the radio and the hood and lowering it some more was done by I might have to hurry this up uh, GM 1038 on YouTube and he's got videos on this truck I wish you would subscribe to his channel if you have not put a radio in it and uh, I was <laughs> jamming down going to town so uh, it does the truck does really good I, I told Mrs. P.I.B. Uh, when I got home, that's my wife, if you're new to the channel. Mrs. Primer is best, P.I.B. And I told her, I said, boy, I'm really liking this truck a lot. It's just a co whole complete different animal than what it was. So, uh, just to get you up to speed, if, you're, if you are new to the channel, I rattle can painted the whole truck, put my own patina on it. Uh, last year I think then we applied Penetrol and I know you can't see it but it's shiny Penetrol makes well maybe you can tell right here it's shiny and this was like a year ago something along those lines real shiny so it's kind of like a a cheap I just use it as a cheap clear coat you know that you can do yourself have lots of videos on that and if you're interested in it, I'm trying to imagine this truck with Penetrol on it. But anyway, getting back to today's video, uh, I painted I painted this truck white back again, and uh, I've been doing a little bit of sanding on it. I've done a lot of things before I started the video, and uh, I keep hearing something. I'm not sure what it is. Anyway. Uh, you know, all this was brown, and you have to excuse the dust. That, like I said, I've been sanding. But uh, my wife said she kind of likes it like this. You know, just just a little bit of patina, not a whole lot. But she's wanting me to. Uh, oh, I got this. What? I, <laughs> okay, hang on. Here it is. Hang on. started the video and got a lot of traffic didn't I uh, my wife and I went to our local co-op yesterday and got some of this uh, blue she looked on her phone at the video and this she said I think that's a match maybe it is maybe it ain't I don't know maybe when you scuff it down it could be I don't even know if I'm going to use it it's called continental blue gloss but my main objective was to get some red primer because you see a lot of red primer here and it's, that's a pretty dang good match, isn't it? Pretty good, pretty good. I think that's Bubba. Uh, Bubba on a Jeff. Dad I can't never remember anybody's name. And he does all those, has all those puppets, you know, like uh, Walter and stuff. I can't. Jeff uh, Dunham. Jeff Dunham. Whew, God, that's going to drive me crazy if I didn't think of it. Anyway, I was thinking maybe, I don't know, maybe. Depends on how much time I got left here before the rain sets in. It's coming. Uh, maybe put a little bit of this down through here. I don't know. Yeah, uh, up under here. Up under here, you know, and here and stuff. You know, I painted black black and brown you know and then I rattle can painted the whole truck white 
and I got my uh, sanding sponges. I really like these things. This is medium grade. They have coarse if you really want to get down to it quick. And of course, you know, I got steel wool. Just anyway, I went down through here just kind of last year, you know, just making a little bit of patina here and there. But uh, my wife says maybe it's a little bit too much. Just, I don't know. Let's, let's look around the truck real quick. Maybe I should put some white here. I don't know. This is, this is kind of where your hand would be, you know, taking the gas cap off, kind of, where your keys would rub. And I noticed that that's got a little bit of blue in it. Not my finger, the, the truck door. Where the keys would rub. Every, every imperfection, I tried to bring it out. I'm not trying to hide nothing on this truck. But, you know, maybe it is a little bit too much. I don't know. I thought maybe about putting a little bit of white here. Maybe just a little here. I don't know. But, uh. Maybe a little here. I'm not sure. I'm trying to picture it like where your arm would be hanging out. This truck has got layers and layers of paint on it. Some of it mine. <laughs> but. I feel like every time I put on a layer, I've added 15 more years to the truck on its lifespan. So, paint's always good. But, uh, dang, I don't know. I'm going to have to. It was sunny just a few minutes ago, but they did say we was going to have some rain. So, uh, I would like to have them real small door mirrors, you know. But uh, if I take these off, it always leaves a hole. Stupid mosquitoes is after me. Uh. But this one kind of goes with the truck in a way, doesn't it? The rust. Like I said, I'm in the shop truck, farm truck, patina style truck, whatever. So, uh, we'll just see what happens. Um, just, I'm just playing with it. I don't care if, I don't care if nothing really matches, so to speak. I don't care. I, I don't care. I mean, I just, I just like it. Shop truck patina style truck it can be different shades I, I don't care i even thought about painting the door red or blue or you know just i don't know I, i'm having fun and uh if you're into patina style trucks or cars uh you can have fun too just rattle can painting you don't have to have an expensive paint job you can mess one up just as quick as i can <laughs> wish that mosquito would leave me alone it's following me around but uh yeah, let's let's get on to it and see what we can get done just playing around. If you'll remember, or I think I'm feeling raindrops. Yep. Hang on, guys. Well, guys, uh, this is the next day. I had to put the C10 truck there, or Billy James, in the garage. It started raining. I had to stop the video. The goofy thing is... <laughs> I was looking at the radar and all, it rained and stopped. Sun peaked out for a few minutes, and I looked on the radar, didn't show any rain, that it had all moved away. So I got all my stuff back out again to continue the video of me uh, painting uh, Billy James there, and uh <laughs> started raining again, even harder. So I don't know where it come from, but I had to put it back up. So this is the next day. Today I have an appointment to get new tires for this truck. This 2003 Chevy Cat Eye truck. Uh, it's got uh, Michelins on it right now. And they are, somebody probably asked, I can't remember, 275-55-20s. So you're probably looking at these tires thinking, uh, Jimmy, what's wrong with them? Well, there's nothing wrong with them. They're just used. And there's a there's a there's one of those little i think marker things to show how much until you have to get some new tires right there so they are getting a little bit of wear on them and these uh, i bought these wheels and tires used remember it didn't when i bought this truck a few months ago it didn't have these wheels and tires on it so uh that one's even worse i mean it's getting real close isn't it anyway here's my thinking on it uh they're all four, they're all four matching set. 
uh, they're Michelin's. They're good tires. They ride good. Uh, everything. But uh, I'm going to get me some new tires. My friend uh, has me a set already sitting on the floor waiting for me to show up. I have an appointment. So uh, I don't have to wait that long. And uh, what I'm going to do is get some new tires. Several reasons why. I can take these tires and sell them maybe on Marketplace or to one of my friends that might actually need a set of tires this size. I love these wheels. If I could find another set of these wheels just to hang on to, I'd keep those tires. But I bet as soon as I sell the tires, I'll find a set of wheels. But I've got enough wheels. Anyway, uh, getting back to the point, I'm getting a new set of tires. And I can offset the price of the new tires by selling these. I mean, they're all... They're still good tires. I mean, there's a lot of life left. But in, my wife and I have been driving this back and forth a lot. Sometimes. Well, most of the time I've been driving. We've been driving this because we've been hauling stuff uh, to visit her uh, mother. So, and it's pretty good distance. And I always want to have everything in pretty good shape, you know, so you don't have any uh, breakdowns or anything like that or tire calamities. So, uh. I'm trying to find one. Anyway, there's one. Anyway, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it don't matter because I'm I'm getting a new set of tires. For one thing, I got a two-year warranty on it, and plus I got free rotation. I don't have that with these. So if I could get, I don't know, I don't know what to price them for, 200 250 whatever i don't know what i'm going to price them for or even if i'm going to sell them so but uh that's that's the game plan get me some new tires they'll uh they're 50 i think it's fifty-five thousand mile tires i believe anyway i'm wanting to keep i'm wanting to get this truck in in really good shape i mean it already is but uh we've done a lot to this truck with the help of my friends so uh uh that's that's the plan. I'm gonna get some new tires with a warranty, two-year warranty, any sidewall, anything. It's covered with a new tire, and uh, you know free rotation too. So I'm I'm pretty religious about rotating tires and keeping oil changed anyway. So this would be good. And if you know if I they got a rebate or something on the tires, it's a pretty good deal on the tires this size, and. Uh, It'll, you know, same size tires, and it should uh, work out good, you know, because I'll have a warranty and all that. So, uh, uh, anyway, these, like I said, these are good tires. Michelin's, I'd like to have got another set of Michelin's, but my goodness, they're, they're outrageously high. Outrageously high. So, uh, I'm, I'm getting a tire called uh, Iron Man. It's the same kind of tire. That I have on Mrs. PIB's car, that 2005 Scion XB or Xbox, as we like to call it. Man, I tell you what, those are really good tires, and uh, I'm real proud to have got them for her. I'm trying to keep everything up to date because you never know what's going to happen. And like I said, we've been we've been driving afar out of this truck uh, back and forth to destinations here and there. So uh, I guess I'll continue the video when I get the tire, the new tires on, and uh, hopefully I can work on Billy James just just for a little while maybe. It's, it's finally cleared up where it's not, doesn't show any chance of rain for today, or there's a chance of rain, but it's later in the afternoon, so we'll see what happens. Hang in there with me, guys. Okay, guys, I got my new tires on. My old tires are in the back. Which you've already seen. These are Iron Man, same size, but uh, like I said, I, uh, these have a lot of good tread. These are pretty good tires with a good warranty. I don't know if they, I don't know if you can get them where you live, of course, but good deep tread, fifty-five thousand by uh, fifty-five thousand mile uh, warranty on the tires and uh free rotation all that kind of stuff so i'm pretty happy with them 
that's the name of them, uh, Iron Man, if you didn't know, uh, Country HT, uh, excuse me, Country HT, yeah. Iron Man. Maybe you can ask if you're interested in some. You might like the looks of them. Michelin's are pretty expensive, and this is the next best alternative for my pocketbook. Pardon me? My wife said, Mrs. P.I.B., they have a good road hazard warranty. These are really good tires, and I got a pretty good deal in them, and like I said, I, we've been traveling in this truck a lot, and uh, I'm just about to get everything on the truck the way I wanted it, or the way I would like it. I got I got these wheels. I love these wheels, like I said. Uh, had it, had the computer tuned, new tail lights, uh, backup camera, uh, new new headlights and turn signal uh, lens uh, new bumper air deflector air dam whatever you want to call this got that uh, done on it uh, painted behind the grill I've got videos and all this stuff painted behind the grill put Cerakote on gave it a good wax job uh, hand wax and it, I'm going to have to do another one before it gets winter time and probably put some more Cerakote on too. It's still holding up good though. But I mean, I might just put some more on it just because, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, yeah, it sits, this truck sits outside. I don't have a garage big enough to put it in. So I got to take care of this truck. Uh, put these on. Seems like, well, the door's locked. But anyway, seems like there's some more stuff we've done to it. But anyway, oh yeah, uh, well, no. I'm trying to think there's more stuff. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Uh, it sets outside, so. But I'm trying to make sure this truck's in good shape. It's got new shocks, new battery, new wiper arms. Uh, you know, had an oil change. Just little things, guys, that makes it worth pretty reliable. And uh, really like this bed cover, too. It, it's never had one like this before and uh, it's really it's old but i mean it it really does good keeps everything good and dry so anyway maybe the next video coming up will i'll be back on the 78 c10 truck billy james so hang in there i just wanted to show you i did get new tires for the truck see y'all in a bit Hey guys, this is Jimmy from Primer is Best. I know this video is probably long and drawn out, and I don't mean for it to be. I just got off the phone with uh, GM Tim 38, and his name is Brian. He's on YouTube, GM Tim, GM Tim 38. And uh, I sure do wish you would subscribe to him. Uh, we're like best friends, me and him and Tim Dixon, that gas X chop shop. But anyway, he's driving his dad, him and his dad. I don't know when you're seeing this video. Let me say that right off. But him, uh, Brian's dad, uh, Charlie, bought a 67 Camaro RS car, uh, red with black stripes. And Brian is driving it home because his dad, Charlie, has a few more nights to stay at the Rod Run in Pigeon Forge. That's where they're at, the Rod Run fall rod run in pigeon forge so uh, i've got this uh truck sitting out here 78 c10 truck billy james i'm trying to clean up some of the mess from where i had a little bit of overspray here and there not much does it really matter but uh just cleaning up and just trying to just have a little bit of fun with i don't know how long i can do this once again the rain might wash me out it's that time of year that Again, for rain, but uh, like I said, I don't know when you're seeing this video. I had a lot of people comment on the video I posted where I've done the patina to match the hood. And uh, as, as of now, I mean, like I said, I don't know when you're seeing this video. The rod run is still going on. 
and I try to take every advantage of every time I get a moment here at home. So, uh, to play with this truck, because, well, for one thing, <laughs> it's the only square body I got here. My 66 C10 truck is still at GM 1038. Like I said, you need to subscribe to him. And Tim Dixon at Gas X Chop Shop. He's on Facebook. Gas X Chop Shop. Axe is AXE. Uh, they're probably both going to wind up over there uh, when Brian gets done fooling with my 84 C10 truck left turn bill and my 66 short bed C10 truck sitting on a 71 Chevy truck frame. So it should be interesting. But my point is, this is the only one I got here. And every time I get a new truck, guys, I get sidetracked and then I push this one to the side or I push left turn bill to the side or whatever I have. I, you know how it is. It's easier to start something at it than it is to finish. You ever heard that old saying? It's easier to start a project than it is to finish it. I mean, I kind of like a, who was it? Tim Dixon was telling me one time, said it's kind of like a new girlfriend. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Mrs. P.I.B.'s. Say that again. <laughs> Gun ho, she said. I don't know why she's too shy. She's kind of a shy person every once in a while. I am too. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But anyway, kind of like a new girlfriend. You're all in, and then a few days later or a week later, you're going, I don't know what I see in her. Or <laughs> I, I, stay, I see a lot in you. I love you. Anyway, uh, I'm just kind of cleaning up the truck just a little bit and rubbing some of this stuff here. I, I don't know if I show... I can't remember what i done last. The sun is not out, obviously, and it looks like rain coming this way. I, sometimes I have to abruptly end the video because of rain, but I sprayed this white. It did... I, let's see the other side. It, it did look somewhat like this. So, yeah, I forgot what I did do, to be to be honest with you. I sprayed a little bit up here. We'll just kind of rub around. I'm going to try not to go overboard. You can kind of see hints of where the paint might be thin. That's what I'm going for. You know what, guys? This old truck, or any of my old trucks, I can't hurt them. And all I'm doing is putting more paint makes them going to last longer, doesn't it? Or that's the way I think. Thought about putting some down in here. I might do that. I don't know. Get rid of some of the, some of it. And then the other ways, I think, hey, it looks pretty good. Just leave it alone. <laughs> but uh, Brian's going to call me back here in just a second. So I might have to answer the phone when he calls. I don't think I have the right shade of white, but it don't matter. <sighs> Just go with it. Uh, hang on, I'll show you something. I had this wet rag. And, uh... Oh, my wife thought I was <laughs> talking to her. I had this wet rag. And I, I, was, I was just getting some of the dust off the hood from where I had been sanding like this. Just, just dust. Whole truck needs to be washed, and I was... I'll do that when I get time, but I was wanting to see what it would kind of look like with the uh, Penetrol on it. So, this is it. The blue's a little bit deeper shade of blue. All this stuff kind of, kind of pops. The way the year is going, guys, the days are getting shorter and nights are getting longer. That sounds like a song. I can't think of what it is, but... I don't know if I get to do all this or not. There's a lot going on in our lives right now with Mrs. P.I.B. and myself, so I don't know how far I will get, but there's what it, there's what Penetrol will, you know, somewhat look like, shiny like that. And I probably can't tell much difference here, maybe a little bit. Just, it'll look just about like this, you know, just looking wet, you know, shiny. I was wanting to see how this would look if it was. There's those thin spots where I made the paint, the paint excuse me, where I made the paint kind of thin. I know I don't make no sense sometimes. But uh, 
the thing is, I might just, I might just paint the whole truck white. I'm not sure what I'm going to do just yet. But whatever it is, it'll be the right decision. Uh, I had a lot of people, or I might, here's the thing. Like I was saying, I don't know if I'm going to have time this year, it being middle of September or so, or latter part of September as you're seeing this video. And uh, I don't know how far I'm going to get, because uh, the year's getting on. I mean, the days get shorter. And by the time everything warms up outside, and if I happen to have a day here at home without having to go somewhere, you know, with like I said, my mother-in-law has had a massive stroke, and we visit with her a lot. So uh, I might not get as much done as I want to on this truck this year. But uh, I had an overwhelming uh, response to... Uh, the patina I had put on here to try to make it match the hood. If you're not familiar, just go back a few videos and you'll see this. Uh, where I done that is. I, I really like that penetral. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. Squirrel. That's what I always say when I get off topic. I forget what I'm talking about. But I might do this again next year. and uh, Or next spring when it gets warmer weather and the days are a little bit longer. Hang on. Okay, I, what, this is what I was wanting to show you. I went and got two cans of this. Uh, my wife and I had to go to town. We went to the local co-op and I got some of this. Now I have two cans of this red primer. So I think I have learned a lot from putting this stuff on. You know, even though I've covered it up, whatever, it doesn't matter. Really, I can do it again in just a few minutes. Everything I've done, I got done in just a few minutes. Uh, I might... You know try to take advantage of this you know it's pretty close to that isn't it so i can use black black uh rust colored uh red primer and it'll match even better i i like the way the truck looked but uh i i just think that i, I just think in my mind i can do better and i might try using a sponge to you know uh to try to you know dab a little bit here and there and maybe like i said that a uh, little q-tip thing I'm trying to keep an eye on the raindrops here uh and you know and make some fake rust you know even though the truck looks like this really but uh y'all let me know in the comments i'm not really I've got a lot of time to think about it, and I, I don't know, I just really wasn't happy with the way, I mean, I was, I, I really liked the look, but I think I can do better if I have clo uh, colors that are a little bit closer uh, to what I'm dealing with, you know, instead of trying to match everything up, you know, and make it match the hood, I think this, I think this will make a big improvement, and I might try to find a lighter shade of brown. I don't know. I just keep picturing this truck with Pentatrol on it. And these old trucks, if you have an old car or an old truck, you you can't hurt it. I mean, all you're doing is like putting on more paint. I'm actually making it last a little bit longer as long as I don't wreck it or something, you know. But uh, my trim come in. Uh, GM 1038 went to the rod run. Picked up stuff for his trucks, two trucks, and uh, he picked up my trim for this new trim. And uh, also, uh, he, what else did he get? Oh, yeah, he got this piece over here that I'm going to ask uh, Tim Dixon at Gas Axe Chop Shop to fix. That'll, that'll have all the rust fixed, no rust, after I after i get that fixed and uh let's see what else oh he got the trim for the 66 c10 that goes along the side uh i went ahead and got it it's shipping would be expensive and i told my wife you know i said if i'm ever going to get it now's the time but i just can't go to the rod run or nothing because uh 
you know, like I said, my, my mother-in-law. So maybe next year, next time, whatever. I don't know. I, I'm kind of got over large crowds anyway, just to be honest with you. I, when I get up there, a lot of times I'm thinking maybe I should have stayed home. <laughs> I don't know. I'd rather be doing stuff like this. So anyway, this video is long enough and uh, I appreciate y'all watching. I just wanted to show you I, I pretty much almost got it back like it was before. Uh, so hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I hope that I'll Hope I didn't disappoint a whole bunch of y'all. I, I like the way it looked, but like I said, I think I can do better. That was my first time to ever put that patina on. And, uh, you know, there's always, you know, Lord willing, there's always next year. So hopefully I can, I might try it again. I mean, I can't hurt it. That's the thing about these. This is how I think. This old truck was going to the junkyard, right? It's, it's, it's took eight trucks to make this one. Eight. So, I mean, all I'm doing is making it last a little bit longer now if i want to change and put patina all over you know like i had all over the fenders and the door and i you know next year whatever or two years from now if i get tired of looking at that way i can do it like this i mean it's kind of like changing your underwear i mean nah it's a poor representation if you it's kind of like a changing clothes changing your shoes nah my point is you can change whatever you want to i rattle can paint everything it doesn't matter i can change colors it's still you know that's what i love about patina style if you mess up just get you some sanding blocks sponges some steel wool and just <laughs> can't hurt it and uh, when you put penetrol on it it's going to shine like a new penny and uh it'll look great that's that's the way i think you're watching Primate is best. I know I've talked a lot and uh, I hope y'all's not real disappointed in anything that I do, but hey, you know, ultimately, you know, uh, it's my truck and I, I'm having fun. I'm an old man. I'm having fun. I'm here in the driveway. I'm not spending money on nothing. So it's just all in fun, guys. I'm having a good time and I hope that you're having fun watching me mess around and Either you like what I'm doing or you don't. It's just, just all fun. And you can do your car or truck the same way. You don't have to have a big expensive paint job. You can just rattle can just like I do and make it look, in my opinion, it looks great. And look, you know, go around looking for used parts. I try to find good used parts, you know, for appearance, not for mechanical. I like new. But for appearance wise, you know, good used parts. I just had a hard time finding this chrome and stuff, uh, aluminum, the side trim I couldn't find used. So I'm getting new. It should make it pop pretty good and hopefully it'll look pretty good, you know, better. At least it'll be maybe more complete. So, uh, but yeah, I, I'm really really liking this old truck i hit it one i hadn't started this in days i hit it one time with the pedal started right up it's, i mean this is a this is a i'm not bragging on my own stuff but i'm saying brian done a really good job getting this thing all tuned up and man it's a great truck and i'm going to tell you i got my remote for the radio here and i can't play songs or nothing because youtube Ding me for that for copyright, but trust me, it works. It's remember I had that big old gaping hole right there that I'm assuming Billy James, the guy that owned the truck, uh, <laughs> Brian said he must. <laughs> I still get tickled every time I think about what he told me. But he said it. <laughs> he said it looked like he took a chisel and just chiseled out the, <laughs> the slot for the radio. But like I said, uh, the guy Billy James, he really didn't really didn't care obviously so uh thanks for watching guys like i said you're watching primate is best on youtube and uh if you'd like and subscribe to my channel i'd appreciate it i'm also on facebook primate is best and instagram primate is best got a second youtube channel called man on a budget i occasionally put videos up on and uh, i'm on instagram man on a budget one so if you like and subscribe I'd, I would appreciate it. Don't forget. Don't forget. 
You see this old truck? And you've probably seen pictures of it at one of the videos, or maybe two of them I've put at the end of the video what this truck looked like. You know, there wasn't no motor, there wasn't no, everything was trashed. Like I said, it took eight trucks to build this one. Don't be ashamed to send me a video of what you're working on because I would enjoy putting it up on my YouTube channel. It's called PIBs, that stands for Primer is Best, PIBs Subscriber Rides. Send me a picture, or I'm sorry, send me a video of what you are working on or what you just bought, what you just drug out of the woods, or like me, you got a guy that's hauling this to the junkyard and you bought it from him, whatever. I don't care. I enjoy stuff like that, car or truck. Don't matter what make. It can be Ford, Dodge, Plymouth, Rambler. I don't care. Send me a video to PrimerDisBest at Comcast.net or Facebook Messenger PrimerDisBest or Instagram Messenger PrimerDisBest. I'll be happy to post it on my YouTube channel absolutely for free. doesn't cost you nothing. My wife and I will watch the video right. Trying to sneak by me, are you? <laughs> yeah she's trying to sneak by me anyway uh post it on my youtube channel for free doesn't cost you nothing you can show your family and friends your ex-girlfriend ex-boyfriend ex-husband ex-wife your children whatever grandparents whatever that hey i got this now and i'm playing with it or whatever and uh just make the video two or three minutes long do like i'm doing right now turn your phone sideways Turn it sideways to video. You get a full screen. Please, no music or foul language. Uh, because I won't be able to put it on my YouTube channel if you do that. So, you're just wasting your time if you've got music or foul language in it. Send it to me. I'll post it up. I, my wife and I edit it. I've been having a little troubles with my phone. Last several videos, just, I, my, my phone's acting up. So, uh, but yeah, send me a video. We'll, we'll edit it. Stick it up there, and my wife and I will let you know when we have it on YouTube, and you can watch it and tell your family and friends, like I said, whoever you want, or just put it up there for a reference to see what it looked like. Just mark the date. Look at it a year from now and say, hey, it's changed a whole lot in a year because, it, you know, when you gradually do something, it changes. And sometimes you forget what it looked like or you don't notice it. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I've talked long enough. This is a long video, and I apologize. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> More bills? <laughs> no bills today. Oh, boy, no bills. Yeehaw. Y'all have a blessed day today. The Lord is in charge, and I'm just so glad to be alive here today and getting to spend the day here at home. Y'all have a blessed day today, and uh, pray for others. And I'll catch y'all in the next video, and you won't miss nothing. If you'll give me a thumbs up and subscribe, hit that notification bell. God bless y'all. See you later.